Welcome, this is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It is the 11th of March. Thanks for being here. So here are the topics that were on my list. Contributing to user experience was a question that Zinov wanted to address. The She Code Africa Contributhon, more details on it. Um, mm -hmm. I've got one action item that Mark announced in the developers list. Uh, site search was a topic we had last time. I'd like to review it again. I don't have anything to say on docs roadmap inventory and doc structure uh, or the other topics that I had listed there. So I'm gonna just take those out. Uh, any new topics that you'd like to add Zinab or Kristen, any topics you'd like to add? Um, none from me. All right, so then contributing to user experience. So Zinab, you'd asked about the, uh, are there ways that contributors there from SheCode Africa or elsewhere could contribute? Here is the user experience page. And in particular, down at the bottom of the page are the meeting agendas where you can see the, the notes from the meetings that have occurred in the past. And commonly they also include a recording. So if they would like to, see what kinds of topics the UX SIG discusses, they can go and review the recordings and see, mm -hmm. oh, okay, this is what they're talking about, then this, and then this. Um, this. This SIG has been the primary driver of a major enhancement that just arrived in Jenkins long-term support. The Jenkins mm -hmm. long-term support release just delivered this thing that includes the configuration form modernization all about UI and it was mm. took a, a long time to get it there and it's now shipping and has migration guides and hints so all sorts of cool things there all right so, uh-huh you bet so uh, recordings and and uh, notes available from the page Next topic was Contributhon. So we've discussed it in discussed in Outreach SIG, Doc SIG, and elsewhere. And as far as I can tell, we have agreement. So CloudBees mm -hmm. plans to sponsor. I heard today that CDF is sponsoring as well. Yeah, CDF has um, actually sent the funds. <laughs> Good and and forms coming soon for the uh, for the the sponsorship from Cloudbees. I talked to Selena Glauk this morning, so okay. so that's that's good. Uh, if you don't see those forms within say 24 hours, Zena, please okay. reach out to me. Um, All right. Another candidate sponsor, Broadcom. The question has been asked to their team, but they haven't yet given an answer back to the. To our, the Broadcom employee that I interact with. So we've got hopes for others. Good luck on your recruiting. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. So in the outreach SIG today, it was also reviewed and agreed on a proposed project idea, okay. or at least the project idea was discussed. And, uh, and so I can, I could talk briefly about that if that will help, but that will be part of our submission I have the responsibility to submit the organization, oh dear, the organization, no, the mentoring organization application. So I'll do that uh, so that you should have that within 48 hours. Thank you. And the suggestion today was, hey, announce it to the developers list. So I will do that as well. That's to encourage additional mentors. Okay. Uh, and thank you, Kristen. Kristen has already agreed to be a mentor. It's nice to thank have. Thank you, Kristen. And Meg McRoberts has agreed to assist as well. She's a training, a training author. Uh, and her work schedule is such that her work and personal schedule is such that she'll be available Africa early morning hours. 
Oh, okay. And Kristen and I are available Africa after working hours, after, you know, so this time and a little earlier. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we've, we're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep you up to date as we go further. So, and yes, I've still got this action item for the project ideas. Mm -hmm. I'll get that, the answers out there. In terms of computing resources, the project, whoops, the project ideas app, the project idea that I'm working on okay. is, a, needs a computer that can, that can compile Java. Okay. So that could be Windows, could be Linux, mm -hmm. or Mac OS, or FreeBSD, or OpenBSD. Those I know all work. And uh, in terms of popularity, I suspect Windows is the most popular okay. there. Yeah. Then They'll need to run Jenkins, which means they'll probably need and need to experience it. So likely think two to four gigabytes of memory. Mm -hmm. And you had said earlier that we need to put that into the application. That's still correct, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Um, and required skills. Yes, I think we've got that. Yeah. So any other any other questions from you, Zinab, or, or you, Kristen, on Chicote Africa and the Contributhon? None from me. Uh, none from me either. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just thought of something. Um, so um, for the project ideas that um, Jenkins is submitting, um if um i don't know like how many you know i i said um i mentioned earlier that form can take in three project ideas so my question is um first how many project um ideas is jenkins intending to submit and secondly say for instance if you submit um three project ideas um would jenkins be able to handle it if she could africa accept all the project ideas or just one of them? Good question. And so that uh, that's a, I'll describe what I think is going to happen. It will depend on the response from the developer mailing list if we do more than that. So okay. what I'm envisioning is we, and I'm gonna bring up my notes actually from the Jenkins outreach meeting because inside those notes, we've got a description of the project. That way I don't have to retype it. So just a minute while I go grab those notes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, outreach, outreach. There it is. Okay, good. Yeah. So here come the agenda. Perfect. All right. So on my screen, And this meeting was also recorded. So if there's any question, we can always go back and look at the notes, but here's what I had proposed. So the project idea is that we will take pipelining, ask the, the people, the women there and, and sponsored by SheCode Africa to create pipeline examples and pipeline help for popular Jenkins plugins in their use in pipeline. What that will do is give them direct experience creating pipelines in Jenkins. They may have previous no experience with Jenkins. And so this will introduce them to Jenkins and what's a pipeline and how do you, and then, then they will use those skills to compile one or more of the plugins and use that then to, to write help that goes inside this plugin and therefore requires that they modify the plugin source code, that they 
uh, recompile it, they test it inside Jenkins, and then submit a pull request to that plugins repository to have that change included. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will give us examples in the pipeline step for steps reference. It will give them the opportunity to have done Java compilation and to explore what it means to interact with Jenkins. The idea mm -hmm. was we would put up to three of your contributors on the same project idea so that they could work together because this is, there are many, many places that need this. And okay. we think we could have me and Kristen and Meg coaching mm -hmm. this group of three on this project idea so that you've got three people assigned to the same concept, but working in different specific plugins to, to achieve the objective. Now, right. Kristen, this is the first time Kristen's seen this idea as well. So Kristen, you're welcome to object or say, that's crazy, Mark, what were you thinking? <laughs> well, no, I kind of like the idea of getting pe having people work together, but I, I don't know if that's like kind of what the project goals are. Cause I know that for like Google Summer of Code, they're like, you can't really have people working together, but I mean, that's software development, right? Like we're supposed to collaborate. <laughs> so <laughs> it's usually not just a person working on their own. So I kind of like that idea of just working as a team. Um, I think that some of the documentation can definitely be fixed for the, <laughs> for the plugins, but it's mostly, um, and getting some examples would be very good. I think that maybe they can even, there might even be a chance to update some of this, like just, or just to go through and make sure the pipeline documentation in general is okay. I mm -hmm. think that's fine, but there's definitely some examples of things like, I mean, I had a question about a, like what you can do with certain libraries or like you, you know, using a common library and I couldn't really find a good answer in the documentation. So like, for example, uh -huh. that's maybe some extra stuff we can add. So I like it. Okay. All right, so I'm, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and paste it in here so that we've got it. Okay. So Zenob, I think Kristen asked a very good question. Is it within the rules, is it within the boundaries of the She Code Africa Contributhon if we put three people together on a on a single project idea, even knowing that each of them will have independent tasks, they actually won't be dependent on one another. The thought was they they, however, have the same general steps each will need to take as they achieve their as they accomplish their tasks, and therefore they'll be able to help each other as they bump into problems or say, oh, I had this problem, this thing would not behave the way I wanted hoping that they can help one another in addition to getting help from the mentors. Yes, so um, it's okay if um, you have um, more than one person working on one project idea, as long as they have distinctive tasks, as you just mentioned. Because, you know, at the end of um, the whole um, the boot camp in April, you be required to grade each of these participants individually, not by the project idea. So it's important okay. that uh, despite the fact that they are working on the same project idea, you're able to access um, to assess each of them individually and their performance assess their performance individually. So you can grade um, them at the end of the day. Great. Okay. Well, and and my thought in terms of the individual, I I know so this one right here, the pipeline examples and pipeline help. I have mm -hmm. lots of feedback in the documentation feedback complaining mm -hmm. about the absence of examples in very specific plugins where they say this plugin needs an example and this one does. And my thought was since someone said that I could easily assemble a list of 10 or 15 or 20 plugins where these plugins have specifically been requested to have examples added. And if each of them took five, they would have independent tasks that are similar tasks, but independent of each other. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, good. All right. Now, in terms of getting them started with Jenkins, because part of this will be 
they'll have to get started with Jenkins, right? And we're, I'm going to assume that most of them probably haven't used Jenkins before. And so I would assume we give them an introductory kit which says, please do this tutorial, please do this tutorial, um, mm. please, please try this experience. And when you've done those, that will sign off check on that, that part of it. Yeah. Yes, that sounds good. Okay, great. All right, so the, and I think that's part of the application process then. So I'm expecting within the next 48 hours or so to have that ready to submit. Okay. All right. Now, one of the things that was asked in the advocacy session was, are there other are there other projects that we should be mentioning this to? And I don't recall, uh, no, I, different topic. Okay. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll continue on this path. Any, any other guidance you want to give there, Zinab? Um, no, I think that's it for me. But if you have any question, you could always send me an email. I'll reply as Great. soon as I start. Excellent. All right. Thank you. So the other topic I had was site search. I don't know if this is particularly relevant, but for me, it's been an interesting adventure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd love to show it and talk about it. And then we could decide if it's something we need to do, do further on here as a office hours. But are there other topics you'd like to bring that have come to mind, Zinab? Uh, no. Okay. So then here, I'm going to show what Gavin Mogan has done in terms of an, um, quite an impressive piece of work with using the Algolia site, site search engine. So here is this, the plugin site with now using search provided by Algolia, a search, a search company. So they donate to open source projects. And so now I can ask questions like, show me GitHub branch source and Whoa. or show me, show me, let's see, a strategy plugin. And it finds strategy and strategies and elegant, nice improvement. We used to have search that was our own indexes He's improved it now to use these Algolia indexes. And as a result, we also get reports that tell us which search results have been, which, which search queries generated no results. So we've yeah. recently learned that a number of people are asking questions about this thing, TFS or <laughs> team foundation server. And the answer is we don't have anything to offer them right now. Should we do something there? So the, the experience has been really helpful. Wow. Now it gets better because Algolia has also given us, has also donated um, search for the Jenkins documentation site. So Zinab, you of all people likely remember from your work on the Jenkins on Kubernetes documentation, no search yeah. up here. Well, guess what? There is now. Wow, and it has actually been fixed. <laughs> it looks better now. Yes, and, and works well. It, it is certainly, we want to do more tuning. We have more things to improve, but it works and it, it shows things. Oh, whoops, now that's interesting. I have a mm. bug, uh -oh. shame on me. That's very interesting, okay. So that was a bad sign. Just a minute while I record for myself what I did there. Okay, how did I do that? Well, I'm going to have to look at the recording later. That page that came up with undefined is, is indicates there's a bug in something that I need to fix. So excuse my showing you a bug live. <laughs>
Okay, so we've still got tuning to do here because one of the things we're finding is that that very often, maybe not credentials. Yes, very often what we see is the search results are biased towards answering with extension points. And these extension points are just developer documentation, not interesting to typical users. So on this and this sample of the five results that are shown, only one of them is interesting to a typical user. So we need to find a way to turn down the priority of these extension points documents. Uh, we haven't found that yet, but we got to learn from how to do that. Oh, okay. All right. And that was all that I had to show. Any other topics we need to discuss today? Um, none from me. Okay, Kristen. Um, no, I don't have. I don't have anything. Oh, all right. Um, sorry, okay. Mark. I wanted to ask a question. Actually, this is not related to. It's about um cloud bees. So um. I got an invitation to speak at um, an International Women's Day event for Cloud Bees from, um, I think, Stephanie or so. Sorry, I just wanted, want to confirm the name. Um, yes, yeah, Stephanie. And um, I think the last meeting we had was like last week and she was asking about um, speaker fee and something like that. So we had a kind of discussion. So um, she sent me a mail today um, that they could work with the speaker fee or how um, cloud bees donate to She Code Africa. So I just wanted to confirm if um, this is um, has anything related to um, sponsoring contribution or this is different. I think I think they are distinct from each other. Yeah, I think because. So as well. Okay. Selena, Selena and I had that the conversation today. She did mention that that they were having you speak separately and that there was a speaker fee. But to me, it, those seem separate because they're what what it is is they're willing to to pay you the fee or donate to She Code Africa, but that's not they're not coupled to each other. So so their sponsorship of the Contributhon, I believe, is planned whether or not they give you the speaker fee. And I would suggest take the speaker fee directly. Don't have them donated to She Code Africa just because we want to encourage you to be a speaker. Okay, thank you. And that, I mean, if you feel, oh, you, you're willing to donate it to She Code Africa, that's your choice. But for me, I think in order to assure that you have the opportunity to speak and are compensated for speaking, you should accept mm -hmm. the speaker fee. All right, thank you. Kristen, does that seem reasonable to you? Or am I am I off base? No, I think I think you're right. I think they're separate things. Um, yeah, so don't <laughs> say so you don't have to worry about combining them if you don't want right. to. And, and, oh, right, and I think I think those kind of things are are great. It's it's a good chance for us to for us to help the Shikot Africa movement and your leadership of that movement. So those are both good things for us to help. Thank you. All right, I think that's it then. Let's call an end and I'll, I'll post the recording in an hour or two. All right, awesome. um, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.